Hello everyone, Brett Kelly here for another Tuesday Tech Tip 45 Drive. So today's the day, today is release day. We've been talking about this day here for the last month. Um, we are releasing the four Houston modules we've been talking about for the last few Tech Tips. And uh, well, let's get into it. Let's recap them and uh, tell you where you can get them. So to recap our four modules that we've been talking about over the last month, I want to remind everyone that our theme was get them out of the command line. And the idea there is, well, you can do both with Houston and Cockpit, right? You can, you can get in the command line and you can do everything there, or you can do it in the UI. And the best part is the two of them don't clobber each other's changes because we want to give people the power and the ability to use their server as they want to use it. If you want to have it guided through a UI, you've got that. And if you want to have full control in the command line, you can do that. Or if you want to live in the hybrid world of doing both, well, this is perfect for you. So what we highlighted with these four updates were the things that were like, the people who wanted to just go the UI route would still have to jump back to the command line to do a couple things like permissions or run a benchmark and all stuff like that. So our theme was get them out of the command line. So in our first week, we talked about the Cockpit Navigator, which is a visual file explorer for, for uh, Houston. Um, we've named all these packages Cockpit-whatever to follow the naming convention with the parent project. Cockpit Navigator. Then we moved on to Benchmark. We showed you the benchmark, so you can usually run a benchmark on any file system in the, in the system. Then we showed you uh, the updates to the Cockpit ZFS Manager, which um, has been out for a little bit, but we uh, added some extra quality of life features like a edit permissions button. We built ZFS replication tasks right into the UI and just some overall quality of life pre-checked boxes for you and everything like that. And then finally, uh, Cockpit File Sharing, where it gave you a clean way to do Samba shares and NFS shares all in one clean module. So uh, yeah, and now they're out. Where can you get them, I have to say. So they, were, they are now live on our 45 Drives repos. Uh, those, the, the instructions on how to install those repo, that's in our knowledge base. We'll link that in the description below. And um, existing customers, you can, if you already have the repos, an apt update, yum update, DNF update, you'll find all your packages. Um, non-45 Drives customers, you're safe to use our repos as well. Or if you just want the, uh, the RPM or dev packages individually, head over to the GitHub page for each individual project and check out releases. You can get them there. And if you have any questions at all, you can let us know in the comments. You can hit us at info at 45 drives. You can reach out to your support uh, uh, team member if you're an existing customer. And uh, well, I just wanna end with, thank you everyone for following along for this last month and giving us very, very, very useful validation testing. Um, I mentioned in one of the other videos, but two big things there, that's great for catching bugs that people use it. And two, if people are using it before you've officially released it, you must have built something that's pretty useful to someone. So that makes us feel really happy. And uh, yeah, I just merged pull request a couple, like a week ago. So uh, the community is definitely helping. Uh, we've got a couple new contributors already. So uh, thank you. And really excited that everyone gets to use these things. All right, so that's this week's video. That's the release. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, but more importantly, I hope you guys enjoy the modules. I hope they're useful to you and they solve problems. Um, we've been talking about Houston a lot lately. Uh, with this release out, there will, we'll have some further development. Let us know the next great idea you want to see in, in, in Houston there. But uh, you're going to be hearing a lot from us from the other aspects of our company. We do a lot of things here at 45 Drives. For example, you'll be hearing a lot of stuff about Ceph coming up and just general hardware improvements and developments from there. So, uh, yeah. And I guess I have to address the room in the room. No, that was a bad joke. But I have to address our new room, right? So uh, this is it. This is our new studio. Chris dressed it up wonderfully. Uh, as you can see, we've got our own server rack, which they're not running yet, but they will. It's going to be our media server. Um, a little overkill, but why not? We are a storage company. Um, lights are nice. Everything's, it's just, it feels a little weird. I haven't, this is the first video I shot in here. And I don't know. I don't know what to do with my hands, right? Like the right, the, the late, like the great Ron Burgundy said, I don't know what to do with my hands. I, I don't know if I lean, if I, anyway, I'll figure it out as we go. And uh, the last thing I want to highlight is our a really cool faceplate wall here. Uh, one thing that we do at 45 Drives is we have the ability to do custom faceplates. 
Um, this is kind of a selection of some of our favorites. Uh, a lot of the YouTube personalities we worked with, um, this is what we mocked up for them and shipped their product with. So uh, if anyone's in, in looking to get a custom front plate for their 45 drive Storinator, Storinator or any of our product line, um, reach out, see what we can do for you. And uh, well, anyway, I'm gonna work on my, I don't know how to stand, but we'll figure that out as we go. So, catch this later.